Welcome to your new Fairphone. The Fairphone Gen 6 is designed to last. It's one of a kind. It's designed to be yours for at least the next 10 years and hopefully even more. With timeless engineering, enduring performance, and a modular build that defies obsolescence, it will change how you think about smartphones. With the Fairphone Gen 6, you're switching to a whole new smartphone experience, or rather, make that two smartphone experiences. Setting up your new Fairphone is pretty easy, but it still takes a little bit of time. But don't worry, we're here to take you through the entire process step by step. So let's get started. So what's inside the box? Let's take a look. There's your new Fairphone, a getting started kit, and that's it. We don't ship cables and chargers with our devices because we're fairly confident you already have one at home that works perfectly. Giving you extra stuff that you don't need ends up creating more e-waste in the world, and well, that's something we don't wanna do. But in case you do need one, head over to our web shop and check out our cables and chargers. Let's look inside the kit for a minute. There's a quick start guide, a health and safety guide, and a SIM card removal tool. That's gonna be useful. The Fairphone comes with dual SIM support. That means you can carry two active phone numbers with you, one digital eSIM and one physical SIM card. You can download your eSIM directly from your network provider and set it up either during or after setting up your Fairphone for the first time. If you are using a physical SIM card, we recommend popping your SIM card in before switching on your Fairphone for the first time. You can use the handy SIM card removal tool for this. See this tiny hole on the bottom left of your device? That's where you'll need to push the tool in. You should hear a tiny click and the SIM tray should pop right out. The SIM tray can also house an external SD card if you have one, helping you expand your onboard storage space up to two terabytes. The SD card goes on the back of the SIM tray, so make sure to hold both the SIM card and the SD card in place when sliding it back in. Take special care when doing this to not scratch the cards and make sure to not force it in. It should go in easily, like this. There's a handy link about using SD cards with your Fairphone in the description below this video, guiding you from choosing the right SD card to setting it up on your device. Your new Fairphone comes partially charged with more than enough juice to get you through the setup process comfortably. Let's go ahead and power on your phone by holding down the power button. When you switch on the phone for the first time, it will ask you to choose a preferred language to continue the setup. If you are someone with a visual impairment, you can also choose vision settings for better accessibility options to complete the setup process. Next up, setting up your Wi-Fi networks. Connecting to Wi-Fi can help speed up some of the later steps. It's now time to think about what you would like to transfer from your old phone, or not, if you prefer starting totally afresh. If you prefer to copy over data from your old device, the first thing you need to do is make sure your old device is backed up and both devices are fully charged. Also, with certain third-party apps like WhatsApp, for example, you will need to make a backup from within the app on your old device before logging into your new device. You're going to need that backup to restore your messages on your new device. Here we go! Time to securely copy apps and data from your old phone. For now, let's focus on the essentials. We recommend connecting to your old device with a data cable because it is more stable and faster too. This method will give you the most choice of what you'd want to transfer, allowing more types of data to be transferred as well. Alternatively, you can choose to transfer data from your old device wirelessly or log into your Google account and restore your data from a Google backup. Okay, let's hit that next button and follow the on-screen instructions. Transferring all of your data can take a while, depending on how much data you're pushing, of course. Got some laundry that needs folding? Now's a great time to get it done. Quick heads up, while your phone's busy copying stuff, make sure no one touches your phone screen or switches it off. You can find more information about each option, including step-by-step -step instructions in the description below. Data transfer complete? Easy, right? We have just a few more steps to go. With the Fairphone, there are many ways you can secure your device. 
Just follow the on-screen instructions to either scan your fingerprint or face, so you can easily unlock your device with either one look or a single tap on the power button. Your biometric data is securely stored locally on your Fairphone so no one else can access it. If you prefer sticking to a pin or a pattern for now, that's also an option. We're now done with Android setup, but before booting in for the first time, you can also set up some additional Fairphone features. Log in to the My Fairphone app to explore the impact you will be making in the years to come. This is also when you can register your device for your three-year extended warranty. It's 100% free. And if you enable push notifications here, you'll also get the occasional interesting and helpful reminder from us, from tips and tricks to maintenance reminders and exciting offers and promotions. The home screen of your Fairphone looks nice, doesn't it? Some of your apps will still be installing in the background, but that shouldn't stop you from using your phone. If you're missing navigation buttons at the bottom of the screen, you can switch them on from the settings menu, which you can find here. You can also use the settings screen to customize your wallpaper, ringtones, keyboard types, notification alerts, and much more. So, over to you. Have fun and enjoy your Fairphone.